We'll guide you through how to play PS5 games on your PC. If you find this guide useful, consider subscribing and also liking the video. Just before we get any further, you do need to have a PS5 for this to work. Once we've got everything set up, then you'll be able to go and play your PS5 games on your PC from anywhere. So let's do this. The first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser. So I'll just use Google Chrome and then come to a search engine like Google. And then you need to type in uh, PlayStation Remote Play. So type it in like so and then just go to PS Remote Play by the official PlayStation website, this top one here. Once it loads, we can then go and see a bit of information about it. If you continue to scroll down, we can then go and find the download button. As you can see, we've got Android, iPhone, and then Windows. So what you want to do is go and click on Windows PC and Mac download just here, and then tap on download. Then click on Windows again, and you'll need to go and agree here. I already have read these before, so I can then tap on download. After you've downloaded it, then you can go and close off your web browser and then go and open up your downloads folder in your file explorer. Here's the installer, so I can then double click on it. You'll get a Windows security pop-up, which I can't record. And then we need to go through the installer. So it's now gonna do a download. And I'll then go and press next again. You can choose the location, I don't change that. Then tap install and it will start. Just like that, it's now finished and I'll just keep uh, launch the program selected and then it should go and open up. So what we now need to do is go and sign into PSN. So click there. What's super important is you sign into the same PlayStation account as you use on your PS5. So let me type mine in now. After you've signed in, there's a few settings you can change. Personally, I like to just go and give limited data and then you need to choose if you want to connect your PS5 or PS4. I'll select PS5. And then there are a few things we need to go and do. So head on to your PS5. On your PS5, you'll need to go and open up your settings. So go up on your controller and then along until you have settings highlighted and press X. Then what you need to do is go down to system and in system, go down to remote play. And what we need to do is enable re remote play like this. If you can't go and enable remote play, it's probably because this isn't your primary PS5. To go and change that, you need to go out of system and then go into users and accounts, then go down to other and then press on console sharing and offline play. And what you'll need to do is go and click enable. Mine is already enabled as you can see, so I'll press don't disable. But yeah, make sure yours is enabled and then you can go back to remote play and you can then go and switch that on. Once you've done that, go down to power saving and then you want to tap on features available in rest mode and you want to make sure stay connected to the internet is switched on like that and also turn on enable turning on PS5 from network like that. So they're the settings we need to change on our PS5. The final thing you need to do is leave your PS5 in rest mode. To do that, just tap on the PlayStation button and then go across to the power button like this and then go and tap on enter rest mode. After you've done that, press OK like this and it'll then say searching connections via the internet. So just wait. It will then say linking your PS5 like this and checking the network. And here's my PS5. And if you notice low quality, just give it a moment and the connection will improve. Of course, it will depend on the speed of your internet connection. Now, what you can do is go and use the controls at the bottom here, but it's not ideal. So let's go and connect our PS5 controller to our computer. So what we'll need to do is go and use the wire. So just go and grab the wire, plug the USB into your computer and then the USB-C into your controller. And here we are. And as you can see, my controller is now working. So now what I can do is go and get into a game. For example, I could go into Fortnite just like this and I could go and play it remotely. It's important to note that the latency isn't great and that basically means sometimes the con controls when you do something, it is a slight delay from it actually happening, which can be hard for competitive games, but for some games it will be fine and it's sort of better than nothing if you know what I mean. So yeah, give it a go and see how you find it. If you found this useful, please leave a like.